I really, really hate comparing myself to certain people. And in this case, I feel like I'm turning into Trump where every time I do one of these videos, I end up saying, it's been too long since I've done a commentary or just some bullshit where it's been a few weeks and he does a new video and then he says he's going to do more. Oh, I don't want to be that. I'm sorry if I am. I'm genuinely sorry. But it is what it is. So, uh, there isn't going to be any gameplay in this one because I last time I made a really long video and I rendered it, it took, I want to say, 15 hours to render that Halo Reach video. And I don't want to do that again. So, uh, I need to get the most I can out of this computer and these long renders, I'm sure, aren't helping. Um, I still haven't made a, de a decision on buying a PC or another Windows. I'm leaning towards, wow, I just said that backwards, buying a PC or a Mac. I'm leaning towards a PC again because I don't want to learn the Mac at all. And I would just feel much more comfortable with a brand spanking new laptop that can just do anything on the fly. And I know it's going on with some Windows 8 or something like that. But anyways, let's 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 talk about some things that might be interesting. Um, it is two twenty six right now, Friday. No, Saturday, December twenty second. Yesterday was Doomsday. Um, I was kind of disappointed that an explosion didn't go off or the ground didn't start shaking or the sun didn't come up just something cool didn't happen and I was I was looking forward to just some kind of bomb going off not killing anybody I don't, I don't want people to die I just wanted something to happen from a movie and it didn't but you know that's okay but my day yesterday or within the past 24 hours was pretty sketchy. It it felt like a doomsday. I spent, I'd have to say, four hours trying to get the new Jordan 11s, or not the new, the black, white, and red Jordan 11s that came out yesterday. And I didn't even know until I checked the trending topics on Twitter at 5 a.m. right before I went to sleep. You know, a standard by uh, internet or wow. Um, and I realized that they're coming out in an hour, and I tried to get them online. And my mouse key was uh, too low. Like, there's a countdown, and I placed the mouse right where I thought the Add to Cart button would be. And it was about an inch low. So right when I went to press to click it, I had to move it up. And it had a warning on the website saying, even though it may look like you're going to get it, if you know you have to finish processing and get to the cart page and that's how you know you're guaranteed to get the shoe so it was like 10 9 8 and I was ready I was ready and I went to click choked had to move it up clicked add the cart and then it processed for like 30 seconds and it was like failure this items like already out of stock and I was like you know really I'm about to go through this and then I tried the other three websites champs and foot action and they were all uh overflowing and uh, weren't even working because there's so much traffic so then I looked up the time for when the stores opened and at the uh, at the closest mall and I showed up um, about an hour and a half early and I didn't for some reason I thought people would be lining up but then I remembered I was in Arizona and that was a total waste of time because there's like seven black people out here. And this really hot chick gave me one of those looks where you know what I'm talking about. And I totally choked. And if I wasn't so cold because I was underdressed, something could have happened there. But I fucked that up. And I ended up just sitting in my car 
because I got there way too early and I was listening to music and then I finally went in when they opened I think at like 9.30 and the guy tells me that you needed a lottery ticket that was like given out a week early or a week earlier and that they were just you know people could come and pick up the shoe whenever they wanted but they needed to like have it reserved I guess and I was like you know what the fuck I've wasted four hours already trying to get a fucking pair of shoes and of course on eBay right now they're selling in bet anywhere between 300 and 400 dollars and I heard I think at least one or two people have died trying to get these shoes so I ended up coming home um, I filed my W-9 thing or whatever to Machinima for taxes uh, that good stuff um, and I went to sleep around 1 p.m. after watching T.O. on Sports Center. T.O.'s a fucking baller. Um, I wouldn't. I, w I would have been happy if he won on the Redskins because at the beginning of the season, season, and I guess you could say now they don't have any receivers. But I'll go to sports later. Um, I went to sleep around 1:30, and I woke up at 5, and my dad came home and he said, you know, do you want to go check out the, some of the more popular stores to see if nobody picked up the shoes? Because that's what the clerk said, you know, they're holding them from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So if nobody picks them up, they'll just sell them to the public. So we ended up going to the finish line at Tempe Marketplace. And they're like, nope, everybody came. And I was just like, of course, I didn't even want to walk in because disappointment is annoying. So we ended up seeing The Hobbit. And I got to tell you guys, it was probably, I don't want to say disappointing, it was just one of the most non-satisfying worst movies I've ever seen in my life. The best part by far was the Man of Steel trailer showed with the, the yeah, 3D glasses that were pretty damn good. That trailer, no homo, I was crying. For some reason in the past year, I like get really emotional when watching good shit. I was crying in that, and in the Spider-Man scene with the crane, I like couldn't breathe because I, I got like the fucking wind knocked out of me or something. I got choked up. There's the words I was looking for. I got shit on by that scene. So, the movie... The end. Uh, let's just throw up a little spoiler warning. If you haven't seen it, do not spend money to see this movie. That's my warning. Okay, and then I'm gonna talk about the movie now. The of course it had one. Of the, it had the same uh, Lord of the Rings intro with backstory and you know some exposition. The dragon not showing the dragon was huge. I love that. Um, all of that ten minute backstory was amazing, and then. We were introduced to the younger Bilbo Baggins, the porn star from Love Actually. And when they're in the hole with the dwarfs. Oh my god, I think it took like 40 minutes for them to get out of the fucking hole and start the movie. With the dishes and the singing and the eating and them coming in one by one. Oh my fucking god. It hurt watching that it hurt and before that they had Frodo in the movie for a little bit and it was probably f anywhere from five minutes to an hour before Fellowship of the Ring started so they had Frodo um, talking Frodo and Bilbo talking about the birthday party and they were wondering if Gandalf was going to show up on time and then Frodo's like I'm off to the, the whatever tree to wait for Gandalf to come and I'm thinking okay good this movie is going to lead up to Lord of the Rings it's going to explain some things it's going to be cool boy did it not do that at fucking all so after they get out of the hole and do all that bullshit with Bilbo not wanting to go and then he just randomly decides he wants to go after looking at the letter with the burglar on it um and they never even hinted at why okay maybe they hinted but they did a terrible job of 
giving Gandalf the reason of picking uh, Bilbo. Um, so after the whole adventure starts, nothing happens in the movie. Okay, Peter Jackson. If any of you have seen King Kong, do you remember the scene with the brontosauruses all tumbling and stampeding over each other and some of the people getting crushed and having it probably be one of the most ridiculous scenes ever? He outdid himself so hard. At one point, mountains are fighting each other and the 15 losers on the mountains on like two foot wide ledges are on the mountains while this is happening and nobody gets injured or much less falls off and dies not one of those dwarfs dies in the movie I don't know how anybody thought that was a good idea. They don't even get injured. You don't feel bad for any of them because they're unrelatable, stupid characters. And then they're all super warriors when they're fighting orcs. Their KD ratios are through the roof. They probably killed over a thousand orcs and goblins in the movie. They shit on everyone. And then, uh, see, the thing about Fellowship of the Ring is the character development. You care for Frodo, and, you know, you see Gimli and Legolas um, not getting along, and Aragorn trying to unite all of them, and Boromir getting attached to the ring, and Pippin and Merry being the comic relief, and Gandalf shitting on them. But they start to, you know, unite as a group, and... You feel for them. You want them to make it. And then Gandalf falls off the ledge. And you have that whole moment where they're all sad. You know, fly, you fools. And that's like, you know, you thought he died. And then Boromir ends up taking like 17 arrows to the chest. And, you know, you feel bad for Trevlin. And they end up getting split at the end. It's just a good character-driven story in the first movie. This movie doesn't do that in any way, shape, or form. I wanted Thorn of whatever it's called, Erebom, to die. And then when he opens his eyes in the eagle's hands and he's, even he made it, I, I almost walked out of the theater. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure when they were writing the screenplay that they didn't know how to get them end out. They didn't know how to get the characters out of the situation at the end so they're like hmm what do we do let's have Gandalf do what he did in the other movie and just whisper to a random butterfly and the eagles will come and shut on everybody and what do you know that's what happens while they're all on a tree that's parallel or perpendicular to the ground and just they're just floating and oh the movie's so bad and them falling off of all the bridges when they're underground and the mountains and the trolls my favorite parts is, like if I had to re-edit that movie or re-watch it I would watch the scenes with the brown wizard and the scene where they're around the table and Gollum was pretty good although that lasted way too wrong they're way too long there was like five too many riddles between him and Bilbo. But um the scene where the necromancer um is shown that scene was incredible and the brown wizard fights the ghost that was, you know, actually like an important part of the story that something happened. We we were shown something that you know, could possibly be the origin of Sauron or help bring him back or the Witch King. I'm not sure. I haven't read any of the books. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I know that there's something's going on with the Necromancer. He's got to show up again. And, you know, the blade 
from Saruman, Sauron's tomb ends up showing up when they're all discussing it at the round table. That scene was good because they kind of hinted at Saruman being bad because he was uh, denying everything and he didn't want you know any of that stuff to blow up. Then because you know that's what a bad guy would do, he'd be like, "Oh, hush, hush, it's not that important." So he's trying to like play it smooth, I guess. And then um, when the woman, or not the woman, the high elf, whatever f her fucking name is, is, you know, like telepathically communicating. I feel like I'm not using the right diction at all. Is communicating with Gandalf, you know, that was good. So there was like, out of the three hours, probably like, let's go with a half an hour of it was interesting to me. Maybe, mm, yeah, I'd say half an hour. The intro, the spiders, the necromancer, and the round table discussion. Anything with a dwarf on screen? No. Not for me. Not for me at all. And if you watch the trailer after you see the movie, there's like five shots in the trailer that weren't even in the movie. It, Gandalf is where the brown wizard was. And that wasn't in the movie. Gandalf's fighting somebody there. Uh, Bilbo's looking at the sword pieces. They never had that. Um, fuck, I can't remember anything else. There's a f there's at least one more. So I'm not sure if that stuff got cut out or it's going to be in the sequel. Because I know they're done shooting with the sequel. But uh, Basically, what I get out of that movie is the second one better be good. And hopefully Star Wars 7 won't blow as much asshole as that movie did. It was basically, it was like a good Phantom Menace. Like, no, nothing happens to the Phantom Menace. That movie's terrible too. But that movie's on a different level of terrible. See, the thing about The Hobbit is the cinematography and, like, just the shots and the visualization is of course at the top of the class so that shit carries the fuck out of it but everything else the content is absolute garbage so uh... i'm, I'm sure there's some <coughs> some of you haven't seen the movie and you're still listening to this i don't know why uh... so yeah no more hobbit let's see what else could i <sighs> What else can I yawn about? So yeah, I guess. So after I see saw The Hobbit, I was ranting about that to my parents, and the doomsday continued because we went to Freddy's uh, Steak Burgers, and they got all of our orders wrong, so that was pretty ready. But the strawberry milkshake I got was absolutely fantastic. The straw was like really wide, so you could drink like a lot at once like the strawberries came up without any resistance oh my god I'll be going there more often and then uh, so then I came home and you know it's time to game right and there's a few signs leading towards me going towards single player games again or Jesus Christ I can't talk I'm at like on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being fully non-PVP and 1 being strictly PVP, I'm at like a 9.8. So, these last two signs might have done me in. For some reason, my internet decided to take a shit on me. Uh, we played back-to-back -back Plaza Dom games. And I was the only person 3-bar. And it wasn't just, you know, one of those, okay... He's three bar, he's, you know, maybe a host is in Texas or California or something. Everybody's in California. I could have easily been, like, a really bad two bar. But Black Ops 2, the ping, or whatever the shit is called, doesn't do it right at all. My bullets, I, I, I think I had to shoot six or seven bullets before the first one would register. At one point, these me and this kid were 
It's like five feet away from each other. And I was standing still hip firing him right in the chest. And I didn't get one hit marker. I got maybe 12 bullets off. And I didn't get one hit marker. And he just shoots me. And I watched the kill cam. And it's like I'm not even doing anything. I'm just shooting like around him. It was terrible. I went. I think I went like neg 8 and then like neg 14. Because the only way I could get kills was attack and search and C-Force. Which me and Cobra would go over in a Black Ops 2 video. And that's Black Ops 2, man. I haven't talked about it at all. But. They did take a step in some of the right directions. But once again, maps are the most important part. And the maps are just complete and utter shit. And there's just a few weapons that I really don't like. Like the Scorpion. If if I run into somebody with a Scorpion or Type 25 or a Light Machine Gun, my kill streak is going to end because they will kill me. Those guns, man. And can somebody please try to explain to me how the PDW is balanced? It has the most bullets. It has a pretty decent fire rate. It has laser-like accuracy and good solid range. Pretty decent reload time. Uh, why would you use any other SMG besides the Scorpion for total CQC pur purposes? I mean, you, you can't really sell me the M MS, MS, wow, M, S, M, C, eh, whatever, um, so I'm not gonna go into Black Ops 2, uh, <sighs> and then, what else happened, uh, the other sign, so Connection took a total shit, and my, like, th maybe three months old Astro Mic cable, just stopped working. Usually what will happen is it'll, it'll scratch for like a month or two. This one scratched for two minutes. And then now I when I talk on the mic, it doesn't register, but I can hear people. And it doesn't work. So my mic is broken and my connection totally took a shithole. There are signs out there that are telling me not to play PvP games. It's just that simple. And... I, I'm almost there. I think I'm at like a 9.97 right there, right now. I think after Christmas, I'll dole back into it. Sky, I got Skyrim back from Gamefly. Um, I'm a big guy when it comes to selling games. I've probably... I don't know if I've saved, but I've gotten at least over $1,000 back from video games. Easy. Just from selling them. Um, <coughs> I, I mean, I sold... Borderlands 2 for $40, not because I didn't like it or it was bad, but because everybody stopped playing it and these games, these PvP games are coming out, and I just saw an opportunity to get $40 back. I only spent 20 on it. Actually, I think I might have gotten it for free because I sold so many other games, so I am trying to game fly it back, though, um, so I can play with my boy Vaccine, who's always on it. No lifing fucking legendary armor abilities and whatever they're called, shields and B shield nerf. I wasn't really a fan of all that level 50 junk. I like playing the game as a, just a character trying to fight guys, not killing them in one or two bullets with a with a uh, scalable conference call, whatever the fuck it was called. Um, where can I go from there? So yeah, Doomsday. Now we're here. It was a pretty doomy day. Pretty doomy. Uh. <sighs> I just watched that I Fly Line Night troll video of him talking about going in the bathroom doing PKA. That was so cute. I was gonna defend that kid, but after you made that video, like you're you're a faggot. No. Like, I understood why I made that first video about Raw Instinct. Like, oh, he's copying blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I think he made his case where Raw Instinct... I mean, uh, let's just put it this way. I don't know if he's right or not, but Raw Instinct is a total douche. Just 
him and T Martin just they just sound way too excited when they're doing their videos like Oh when we're talking about the MK forty eight, we're gonna be going over with the best attachments and you should put a thermal sight and blah, blah, blah. I'm like just shut the fuck up. It's Call of Duty, stop sounding so excited. God You know what that that that's a good segue. Y'all know about that um that let's see, what did I name that video? The L eighty six laser gun I named it like I found the gun way earlier than you or something like that see the best part about that video is I watched his L86 video for like I want to say two and a half minutes and since all of his videos are like five minutes you know I, I missed half of it actually is obviously so I never even saw the part with the thermal so I didn't even know that the thermal sight was the specific laser gun which gave it no recoil. I thought he was just talking about the gun in general. So when I uploaded it and just named it, you know, the laser gun, welcome to the party T Miner, whatever the hell I named it. I completely botched it because I had no I I didn't do my research, I guess. So when all those haters were hating, I just found it hysterical cuz they had a reason to hate, but they are still losers for the comments they were leaving. If you want to read some comments, go to that video. Like, there's a kid who was convinced that I was in a private match, and I was killing people there on my f that were in my game, even though the yellow XP numbers were there. Oh my god, that comment section is pretty good. And speaking of comment section. I had to uh, disable the comments again on my backbreaker video because those kids are so fucking annoying. Oh, that fart noise you're doing? <laughs> Please stop doing that. It's so annoying. And everyone he has to tell me that it's Devin Hester, not Devin Harris. And that video has blown up. It has, I think, 625,000 views right now. I am getting carried by that as far as monthly payments go from Machinima. You know, you all might wonder why I'm not uploading. That's probably 80% of the reason. I don't need to. I'm making money off of one video. And the related videos, the Andre Ware light is lighting them up, has about 25,000 views. Uh, the I'm Done Mom for 3 videos, the related video, that has like 15,000 I think. I'm just feeding off of my own feeder, 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 feeder. Speaking of feeder, 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 that chick, let's see, let me get this, X Gen, <sighs> fuck, I don't know, that chick with who said feed like 17 times in 30 seconds, I remember thinking that she sounded pretty hot, like not gonna lie, she had, she had a decent voice, it's because her mic quality is like really good, but I told myself that she was gonna be fucking ugly as shit. And no offense, maybe not fucking ugly as shit, but I knew that that voice was not going to match that face. Because she's not a feeder. And her boyfriend, vocal pilot, I would punch that kid in the face so hard just from hearing his voice. Oh my god. I hate that kid. And I don't even know. I'm a nice human being, huh? Uh. Should I should I dive into Woody's gamer tag? Woody's Woody's gamer tag? Nah. Let's not. Let's see. Where should we go from here? Um As far as like gameplays go that will maybe get uploaded eventually one day, which I always say. I wanna go I still wanna go backwards, man. I still got some Gears 1 footage. <laughs> Uh, I have Borderlands 2 clutches that I want to show you all. I still have Gears 3 stuff. I still have Reach stuff. Um, I think I still have a few Moabs. Uh, no, nobody will watch it. I will say that uh, my first game on the Crimson DLC, I got a perfection. So, that's when you know you're a gamer. Halo 4, man. Halo 4. Halo 4, dude. Halo 4. You want to talk about a bad game? Let's talk about a bad game. 
Let's talk about a game that came up with a weapon worse than the sawed-off shotgun. Hard to do, if you ask me, but they pulled it off with flying colors. I'll, I'll leave that discussion to me and uh, me and Snake. Snake was so hyped to play Halo 4, and I tried to warn him that the game would suck. And you know, for a moment there, we were rolling, and then something happened. Oh, I know what happened. They took out King of the Hill. <clears throat> and it went from like, like, kind of going uphill to like, eh, this game's kind of gay, like steadying out, and then kind of going down, and then they took out King of the Hill, and it fucking went straight downhill to where it hasn't even seen my Xbox in a week. That game is so bad. That game's worse than Black Ops 2. Are you kidding me? It's not even a question. It's not even a question. See, Black Ops 2 took some steps in the right direction. Halo 4 has hit scan and no bloom. That's it. That's all you can say that's good about that game. Hit scan and no bloom. Reach had hit scan, but it had bloom. Halo 3 had no bloom, but it didn't have hit scan. They combined the two, but then they fucked up everything else. So I'll leave that to Snake. Um, what else was there to talk about? I managed to lose my Cloverfield disc. I don't know how I did that. Nova. Let's talk about Nova. I was on the montage team called Nova or Novus, which started back in. Let's go with anywhere from late September to October. Created by iPhone Starfire. This guy, man. <laughs> this is the classic guy that, like, this is like, he's a perfect YouTuber. Like, he might seem cool, and then he's just a rat, just like everybody else. You know, I remember when he randomly. I don't know if he shut down Method Gaming, but that channel just died after everybody was promoting it and shit. And then he comes up with this team combining montage players for Halo, Call of Duty, and Battlefield. Like, oh yeah, because those viewers were mixed well, right? And, you know... um, And the thing is, the Halo players were, you know... I don't know if I like any of them, but they can get clips. You got Cause of Hell, and Trank, and Muggsy, and Dutchy, and Toasty, and a bunch of other kids. Kryptonics, Biscuit. Pretty Actually, I don't know if Biscuit was on the team. Maybe. Um, but those kids can fucking... They can play Social and some MLG. Trank, you know. And they were on the team, and I submitted... The uh the dual touch between me and Snake uh, as a joke and he replied like immediately at like three in the morning because he's losing no life with a wife just like the rest of us. Um and I got accepted on the team and they immediately were hating on on me. Like there's a team chat and um and as you can tell I don't give a shit about confidential information anyways. This will get like four hundred and eighty three views. Like who gives a shit? You know, um, but yeah, they're in a team chat, and I was just watching them type away, and like they were hating on me pretty good. And you're like, uh, let's see, one of them, the kid who edited the, t the kid who edited the tour montage. I can't remember his name. He was saying how he used a song he wanted to use, and he didn't think he was that good, and he didn't think I deserved to be on the team or whatever. So that that was a good start. Um. And then, you know, the views are kind of down. I think they got to, like, 13,000 subs. And the Team Taj was made, and I got the Ender Clip, the Tastrophe on Valhalla. And I didn't think... I thought we were going to get better clips. It maybe people just didn't submit their best stuff. Um, yeah, because if Biscuit was on the team, he had, like, Killionaires already. My <coughs> Biscuit V2. What a gay name. Wow. And what a gay. I played against that kid on fucking Haven. He was, I think we won Infinity Slaver. He went like plus one. Uh, 
was I talking about? But yeah, the views started dropping. And, you know, there's some episodes from Call of Duty. You had to have Nova in your clan tag or whatever to be on the team. And then you got accepted. There's some Battlefield ones. Uh, Bone Star himself made a few montages. And he, um, he didn't, uh, I think he, he didn't know somebody or something that clearly proved that he didn't belong in the montages. I don't know if he didn't know Furion or if he didn't know FB, FB Walshy for the win was. It was something like, what? Like, what are you doing with, what are you doing in this community, you know? And I hate that word community, by the way. So that was another thing they hinted at me, like, this this isn't going to work at all, but I'll join. And then I ended up hating on Trank's video. And those kids were using that as evidence against me. That was pretty funny. Um, I was like, you know, why would you join? And I ended up joining. I was like, fuck it. You know, why not join? If I can edit some Cause of Hell X terms, why not? But I didn't end up... I just ended up not getting any gameplay, of course. But back to the point that I'm trying to make. <sighs> Oh yeah, another thing before I say what happened. Um, I showed him. I think I ended up showing him the cure, which I think is probably the best balance between like creativity and what I like to do with a montage, like the intro with the X Men, and um, just the sinking and the submerged song. You know, and the, uh, the quote with, uh, you know, good dying and what's like a dream world with on the jungle or a jungle with me coming prone out of the water and getting the six piece. I think that's like the best one, like to show somebody. I don't know if this is the best one overall. I showed him that and he said, let's see, you know what, let's, let's quote iPhone star for hire. Did he delete me? I think he did. He did. What an asshole. Let's see. Oh yeah, and he wanted us to upload a Nova intro. <laughs> he wanted us to use a Nova intro in all of our videos. Like, uh, I'm okay. Where the hell? I linked him the video and I'm looking at the Skype chat and there's no links. Oh yeah, he didn't know Montage Madness. How do you pull that off? Ah, there it is. I said, um, let's see. I I asked him if I could also edit Call of Duty, and I showed him the cure. And I said, it's not my best, but I do love to edit good clips. He said, wasn't bad, wasn't good, lol. Not sure I would have liked it with my clips. But I love your Halo stuff. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I'm just thinking. <laughs> okay, first of all. <laughs> my editing actually shows what happens with your clip. So how could you not like it with your clip? If you watch, you know, the Call of Duty montages of today. You know, they're, I guess they're doing a better job of showing what happens. But it's just the Twixter after the last kill. Like, every single time. And... I I just I remember being so like confused when he said that and then I ended up saying it is over a year old like I tried you know stick my tail between my legs like you know hold on but um and then I asked him for a like on the montage and he said I will support montages 
that my guys do with the Nova name, but I can't do that kind of stuff. I only use my channel for my stuff, but for the Nova channel, I would if it's the Nova Novataj or something. <coughs> Was that English? I read that right. So, of course, you can't like the video. These guys with their big subscribers and they're liking the video rules. Fucking losers. I will like any video I see fit, and I will favorite any video I see fit. I have over 900 favorites and probably a kajillion likes on this channel. Who gives a shit? Does it really matter that you have 300,000 subs and you're liking some random montage? Hutch didn't care, but he probably does now. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But yeah, Nova ended up ending when... You know what? I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna... Fuck it, we're, we're quoting more. We're doing better quoting, because that was terrible. Okay, let's see, where is it at? What is this? Come on, Skype. These kids were crying over team snipers going away. Here we go, this could be it. He creates an email on the 4th, December, of us to upload montages too. So, that wasn't that long ago. Like, you know, we could, we still could have been balling, right? And then on... Why is Skype so bad? And then on the 8th... On the 8th, four days later, after making an email... Guys, I'm ending Nova. Have had too many problems with the people and issues. I don't have the time to work on this, and the COD section is basically dead from people hopping. It's an immature community. The Halo side doesn't get any recognition, and half of the battlefielders are not active like they used to be, including me. This is more stress and annoyance than it is fun or useful, so I'm just going to close the channel. Thanks for those who stuck around. I'm sorry things didn't work out, and wish you the best to wherever you may go. Good luck. And then <laughs> some kid quotes, the Halo side doesn't get any recognition. And it's like, um, this is how you do it. You can upload montages and have, you know, a channel with 12,000 active subs. Like, this is one way to get it going. And then he says he may have something in store for us later on. I'm actually working with a guy to build an actual network. If it works out, I can bring you guys in. Yeah, that'll work out. And then we ended up saying we could, let's try to just give us the channel, you know. And then he says, I'm not allowed to. I got in trouble last time. I let someone run one of my channels. And it's contracted. So if I asked them to unpartner it, they wouldn't. And he says, well, I'm not getting in trouble again. But anyways, like I said, perhaps later on, we can just stay, stay in touch with me or Matt. You can always contact me. Sorry it didn't work out. And he just leaves. <laughs> and then everybody just starts cursing at him. <laughs> oh, my God. This shit was fucking hilarious. Uh, and then, let's see, how many days, same day, yeah, same day, but the afternoon, um, toast, uh, like, they, they hated on me again, and they said he's some random kid who made a custom game montage that Pwnstar liked, oh yeah, the puba faggot, oh my god, ripped that kid's throat out, and then, yeah, he says, I made one montage, and he says, that's all we saw from you. Was too uncaring to go through your channel. And I just said, be right back. Gonna go make one montage. And I just left. And that was the last of me. So, oh, that kid is too lazy to, to look at a channel that has a montage playlist at the bottom of it called Hope. And he thinks I made one montage. I've made, like, more than one montage in a day. Like, 
please, please, right now, please. With the ignorance. Jesus Christ. I made m fucking montages while you were like a 8th grade, probably, kid. Like, fucking loser. Then he added me on Facebook like a week before. Delated! D -d 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 Delated! So, yep, I was in Nova for a month. Yeah, like a month exactly. Um, what else is there talking about? I joined Spectre, if any of y'all know what that is. Spectre Xbox group. Ash and Earth invited me. I didn't ask him or anything, so that was pretty cool. Man, those kids love to insta gel on like wave one. A cold, dude. No shame. No shame. One enemy left, insta gel. I will never. The only time I insta gel is if there's an Atlas on top of me and he hasn't meleeed yet. Because if he meleeed, then I'll just insta gel and he'll execute me. But if he hasn't done that, I can get up. Or I need to get up because he'll just stomp my ass. So. That's the only time I instantly get up, pretty much. Or if, you know, I'm getting chased and I'm the last one left, then, you know, circumstance wise. But when you're doing it and all four are up and it's wave two, it's waste. And it's like. <laughs> what else? What else we got to talk about? There's sports, dude. I could talk about sports forever, but. I think if any of you all have made it this far, you can answer this question. I think I want to do some vlogs with the Redskins. Not with the Redskins, but about the Redskins. So let me know about that. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm sure there's plenty of other fucking shit to talk about. What, what, Spider-Man? What? I hate nerds, dude. If everybody ever calls me a goddamn nerd, I swear I'll punch them like I'm a nerd. No, that didn't make any sense. Like, here's what I look at it. If you have any idea how to play a sport, how to play, not know what's going on with the sport and all the stats, play the sport. More than one, you're automatically like you're magically excluded automatically excluded from the term nerd like it's just it's like oil and water it just doesn't mix and I'm just, I've talked about this before I can play m multiple at a very high level so uh, I don't know why I, I, I don't know what's going on in my life right now doomsday dude Let's see, let's talk about some other YouTubers. My favorite YouTuber by far right now is absolutely his fucking reactions and that goddamn webcam are like the greatest shit you'll ever see in your life. And Plinkett's reviews are really good. And I think that's about it. Let's just click on tr Trump's stream right now. Jonathan Pampers Trump. What? He's playing COD 4. Okay, he's. He, he didn't even go to 10th prestige in this fucking account. <laughs> I hate kids who didn't go to 10th on COD 4. Like, I understand on 
other games, but on COD 4, you just need the Golden Cross. I'm sure he's done it on another account. But he's like, dude, I'm so legit because I have an eyeball symbol. Okay, there's a level 9 named Spiegel Slaws 8, who's second on the leaderboard. And then S2 Xylo, Examined. And then a level 14, a level 6, a level, a level 11, and a level 2. Level 2. Would you just get God 4? Holy shit. Meanwhile, he's flexing in the webcam. Oh, man. I need a live stream. If there's anybody out there that needs a live stream, it's me. I don't know if I need the whole webcam thing, but... I, I, I need... I need documented evidence of what I go through on this stupid console called Xbox 360 on a daily basis. Spawn in, kid. Nobody wants to listen to Soldier. See if you're real right now. Didn't get raped. He's listening. Okay. We're just going to ride this out. He's listening to like a rock version of Superman. <laughs> Dat ho. Damn, get bodied. It kind of sounds tight. That's the worst part. Is he really about to go up there? No. Hey look, UAV with no bullshit counter UAV. That's another thing I noticed about Black Ops. I feel like the radar map is like really, really fucking small. Like he's on district right now, and you can see clearly all of the arrows, and, or not arrows, to like pathways. You can see specifically which walls they're behind and shit. In Black Ops 2, I feel like that shit's impossible. Like, you don't know if they're 10 feet in front of you. This shit's really small. Okay. I don't know if there's anything I forgot, but... I'm out.